calibration of Hasco scrap boxes. To enter the calibration mode, we press and hold the mode button for one second. The word pass appears. This is a password to get into the menus. It's tear, tear, zero, print. Once entered, it goes into the user menus. We press the up arrow until we see the word calibration. Press the mode button to enter this and we see disp. This is for the display value of the unit, but because these are already set, we can simply move down through the menus until we see the word dead. This is a point where we're going to enter the zero figure for the weigher. So at this point, ensure that you've got the scrap box on the car. Once it's all in place, press mode. We now see a live zero output. This is a, a millivolt representation of the weight coming from the car. If it's all stable, press the enter button. Once completed, the word CALAT appears. This is where we enter the value of the weight we're going to use to enter the calibration. Press mode and you'll see the last entered figure. If this is the same as the weights you're going to use, you can simply press print and enter it. Otherwise, you can change up and down or across to edit these figures. Once the figure matches the weight you're going to use, press the enter button. The word CAL appears. Press mode and you now get a live zero output again from the scale. You can now apply the weights to the box. Once all the weights have been applied to the scrap box, we can now press enter. When calibration is complete, the word test appears. We press enter. This is asking us if we want to save the calibration that we've just entered. Press enter again. It stores it and returns to the calibration menu. Press one more time to return to Wayne. You can now unload the weights from the scrap box. and calibration is complete.